Good day everyone. Well I briefly showed this in a video the other week. It was something I've just been trying to do. I didn't expect it to work and it, it's not been a total failure. But what I've done, I've made a steel mould to make a casting of my username. Now we know about castings and they never work very well especially, uh, you know, oh you would there you are. Right. I made this side come off because I thought I might struggle to get it out, you know, if, if I get some in. Anyway, yesterday I thought, well, I'll just have a go and see. You know, um, I wasn't expecting much. Now, I couldn't, I really wanted some small letters because the first idea was to put some small letters on. But of course, <laughs> I've got a lot of letters, haven't I? Mark of Lincoln, it's a lot of letters, you see. So what I did, I thought, well, I'll just try drilling a series of small holes. And you can't, as I say, I can't get close enough to show you. But So what I've done, obviously in reverse, I just, uh, they're not terribly good, but they're not bad. You can't actually read them on here. So yesterday I thought, oh, I'll have a go. It's going to be the hottest day of the year and I went and stood around my furnace. Well, I don't think, it, it'll melt cans all right and I'll get some aluminium, but I had some uh, ingots cast. I thought, oh, I'll make them. And I made this also, I won't bother showing you it, I've made a small crucible with a handle on it so it's controllable. I don't need a very big amount. Anyway, I started yesterday and Lit the furnace, that took a while to get going. Put some aluminium ingots in, but they weren't melting. So I went back to doing cans. So on the hottest day of the year, I stood around my furnace at about 130 degrees. I wouldn't code anyway, for three hours. Anyway, um, I poured it and let it cool. Now I knew we might, well, I knew we probably would have the, uh, have air bubbles. Anyway, this is what I've got, and I doubt, oh, it's a bit glary, you won't be able to see on here. Right, there is a few air holes in it, but mainly, instead of, I thought I might get some light little rivets, and you may just see, on the first bit I poured, it did work. Anyway, most of it are holes, so we can get around that. Now, what all I'm trying to do is just cast my username. Um, so I can screw it on my tractor box. That was the idea. And I made a metal mould because I thought, well, if it works, well, we might have to do it a few times, you know. And uh, we know the clutter of casting in sand. I couldn't get any letters because my original idea was just to get some letters on a straight piece and press it in a piece of sand and just see what I've got because the sinkage in the back doesn't matter because obviously... We just uh, clean it up on the belt sand, you know, file it and clean it up a bit and have it flat. And it's only got to lay on like that. So this wants a little bit of clean up, but it, didn't, it wasn't actually a total failure. As you can see, that's worked all right. And as to the holes, what I'm going to do is re-drill the aluminium. Just put some small indents in, and then I can just spray it black and run it on the belt sand and clean the top off, and it'll, we should be able to see my name. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. So that's what I'm on with. And it, if you look at that, it doesn't really need a lot of cleaning up, does it? It's worked, well, the inside especially, has worked very well, you know. Um, the reason I did this way and went to the trouble of making this is because when I was melting the alley for my steam engine, um, I had the best results with casting in tin cans. You know, I've tried other things, I've seen lots of foam casting, even if, you know, unless you're making lots, and you make a pattern, well you might as well make the whole thing unless you're making a dozen. And you cast it in sand, you've seen what that, what casting's like, even, and all the clap of making your boxes, and getting your green sand, and your other stuff that you need. You know, so it's um, it's not an easy job to do, we know that, but it's something to do. So there you are. Right, what I'm going to do, as I say, 
I'm just going to clean this up and finish it, you know, and then uh, we'll show you what we've got this time and then I may have another go, not today definitely, but another go someday and I might try putting this in the furnace and just see if I can get it hot enough to melt some aluminium or pour some molten aluminium in it while it's red hot you know if we can get enough heat in this and then if I shake it about probably the air bubbles will come out and also I wasn't sure if these holes need to be a little bit deeper but that's a simple job now I've got the basic shape of them that's quite a simple job so right I'll show you um, what we get at the end if I get it done today well it's taken a long while but I fi finished drilling the holes and then I just sprayed it with black paint and uh, as you can see I've got a lot of thickness right? plenty thick enough I need to go to the bottom of the holes you know so and also I don't know if it's this uh, latest alley casting I did or, or what but that belt sander the rough one it's really whipping it off so I can sort of go down to nearly all of the low points and I know that most of you class it as a failure actually but no I'm not I'll tell you why um, for starters my furnace only cost me £4 to make you know I mean most people spend 20, 50 quid on high temperature sand and stuff. I didn't, right? The crucibles cost me nothing well. You know, a couple of grinding discs and a welding rod, you know, but nothing serious. So, how I do stuff, and as I say, I've just done this quickly to show you, and uh, I can read it anyway. You can... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you should be able to see the M there. Now it's a bit cramped, obviously. And the other thing is, remember me lack of freehand skills. And I have to draw this out freehand and drill it first. So, we're going to... We'll have a bit more go of this. And I've got about the right shape I want and everything. It doesn't look too bad. In fact, it's in that way it's come better. But what I'm going to do next time, uh, and I may you persevere and use this one, or I may not bother. We'll see. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, because we know it works, right? That's the that was the acid test, if you like. So what I'm going to do is drill these holes in there quite a bit deeper quite a lot deeper and then I'll have another go and I'll weld a handle on here and I'll put that in the fire in the furnace with my little crucible and we'll get it red hot and see what happens I'm sure it's cast steel it's a pressure plate of a clutch you see and so then if I get that plenty hot enough and fill it with some molten alley or even put some in here and melt it then if I shake it about we all know that air rises through liquid so that way I may or may not we'll see get one with my name spelt as raised pegs right so if we do that then I spray it black and put it on the sander instead of it being indent it will be raised pegs and the end will be silver so that might work better anyway as I say it's just a bit of fun and an excuse for something to do with what I've got as we normally do but you know it's uh, it's in keeping that's the thing it's in keeping with what we do with what I do right this is what it is it was just something I thought I'd try and there we are so uh, 
we'll see how it goes. Right. Thanks a lot anyway. We'll see you soon with something else. Hopefully quite a bit more interesting.